Hey, welcome back. This is the area of low pressure that is causing all of the high wind and heavy uh, sea conditions that we're seeing across the Bering Sea. That area of low pressure is still strengthening and pushing to the east. High wind warnings and high surf advisories uh, still in effect from the Privilofs down into the central Aleutians and over to Kuskokwim Delta. And the wind uh, gusts have already been quite impressive, up to 66 miles per hour out at St. Paul, 68 miles per hour at Cold Bay. But even higher as you head at near the Kuskokwim Delta coast for further inland and to the north, seeing a peak wind gust already at 88 miles per hour along the Queefluck River. And seeing those high winds, you can see uh, both north and south of Hooper Bay. And that's where we have some reports of damage uh, already. Mary Archerian, uh, excuse me, sharing this photo with us, seeing some damage there to a uh, steam box. She said they also are starting to see some flooding in town as well. So uh, we are still going to see, again, a lot of wind and a lot of rain in this area tonight into tomorrow for the Aleutians and Privilof Islands. That's where we're seeing the highest winds uh, gusting to 80 miles per hour. So be prepared for that again uh, through the day tomorrow, especially for the eastern Aleutians. Now the Kuskokwim Delta is still seeing those wind gusts up near 55 miles per hour and water levels are going to be about two to four feet above a normal high tide line because of those high winds. So be prepared for the potential for coastal erosion and some localized flooding. And then for the Western Bering Sea, because of those high winds, uh, still seeing dangerous sea conditions up to about 36 feet. So again, be prepared for uh, wind damage in the area, erosion, flooding, uh, and power outages will be a concern tonight into tomorrow as well. The area of low pressure is going to stay over the Bering Sea, but that front is going to extend east. That is going to bring high wind across Kodiak uh, tonight, and then we'll see high winds and heavy rain across the Kenai Peninsula as we head into tomorrow. It's really just the coastal areas that are going to see the most significant impacts from the rain, heavy rain for Seward and Whittier of those Kenai Mountains and the Chugach Mountains are going to do an excellent job of blocking most of that from moving further north or west. So Anchorage, Kenai, Wasilla Palmer, I wouldn't have to worry about much rain, but we do want to be prepared for high winds. Uh, this storm will bring strong winds across most of south central tomorrow, and then we'll see some lingering showers all the way through Saturday, drier conditions likely by Friday. Now, at the same time, we do have active aurora conditions. Those are already increasing tonight. Uh, we are under a geomagnetic storm watch level three. Two CME events uh, are en route to the Earth, and so uh, that helps to boost that aurora activity. So both tonight into tomorrow morning and then again Friday night into Saturday morning, if you happen to get some clearing where you are, look to the sky uh, and hopefully you get the chance to see that aurora. Again, that rain is headed to southeast late tomorrow night. Uh, you will see it starting overnight tonight in Homer, Seward, and Kodiak. Again, be prepared for strong winds for all of the Kenai Peninsula between 35 and 40 miles per hour. We'll also see those strong winds in Whittier, heavy rain in Whittier. We're talking over set six inches of rain in Whittier, about three inches in Seward from this storm. Further north, we're going to see strong winds across the valley, mostly cloudy, isolated showers for you. And here in a we're going to see those wind gusts between 20 and 40 miles per hour in town, but up to 60 miles per hour for the Anchorage hillside. So be prepared for strong winds in Anchorage tomorrow. Chance for a few showers Saturday, otherwise pretty quiet heading into next week. And Rebecca, temperatures, so they will eventually drop into those mid-40s, so cooler air is on the way. Thank you so much.